Ah, so okay. Drink up to your health. What I have here is Malaysian coffee because it's just oh, I just like Malaysian coffee, cuppy cuppy, and Hong Kong coffee as well. Why though, coffee? Yeah, probably not so much. So today we're just going to do a quick video about the coins of Macau. So this is a one pataka from 1968, made out of pure nickel. If you're going to stack them, stack these large nickel coins. Also French coins and nickel. So here we just have a demonstration of the coins of Macau. So there are three series in the coins of Macau. So this is the first series. Then we have the second series and the current series. So the current series is more emblematic. We has so the ten avos. Oh, sorry. Uh, the actual denomination is one pataka equals ten avos. A hundred hours, should I say? And the coins of Hong Kong are also legal tender, and some places do accept Chinese currency. So, eventually, this is going to be replaced by the Chinese yuan, which is pretty normal because it's part of China now, anyway. So, the ten hours has a. So this is the lion dance. So we actually have the eyes up here. And this is the actual tongue. And this is the mouth. So for Chinese New Year, where they celebrate the actual uh, dragon dance. And uh, lion head, sorry. Not dragon. Lion head costume. So basically, yeah, that's what it is. Very interesting. Then we have the one pataka. So this is the most common coin that you're going to get. Uh, because it's probably the lowest value you're really going to get in change. The 10 and 20 avos probably don't really use. Uh, the 50 avos probably sparingly. And this is uh, probably equivalent to 20 cents. Uh, depending on the exchange rate of the day. And last year they actually issued coins as uh, 2010. But still you can get them. And this one has a Goya Lighthouse with denomination in, uh, so that's not in English, that's in Portuguese and uh, Cantonese. So, Yapman, Yapman. And the interesting thing is that we have Macau. We also have Old Moon, Old Moon, which is just Macau. And it looks like this has doubling on it. So, I need to check. Uh, that could just be so the lettering has doubling on no but i'm looking for the chinese characters if it has doubling yeah so this one so i'm talking about it has doubling here and up here so that's an error the doubling on here is normal so it's the first time I've ever seen an error coin from Macau. All Moon. So All Moon. And if you want to know Australia, it's All Zhao. So very interesting. All Moon, All Zhao. So, and these ones, you know, are not really. Obviously, it's an error coin, probably about five bucks for that. Then we have the 10 others. So, once again, pretty simple. So this one has full, uh, means blessing, full, has a denomination, so yaho. So that's a, probably equivalent to like one dime in the United States, so 10 avos, and all moon down below again. So this is part of the mythological belief system. So blessing, full lay, bless you. That's uh, what that will mean. And on the back we have the Portuguese coat of arms with date on it. So the 1982, uh, if you look at Numistar, has a mintage of uh, 8.1 million. And the other two are 1988, uh, 62 million of these were minted. So uh, probably a bit less than $5 for each. I'd say 2 to $3. Uh, 
in uncirculated, probably five dollars. Uh, don't take the uh, new Mister values to heart because you know people could have purchased them like fifty years ago when coin prices were actually quite a lot lower. Okay, so then we have nickel brass, five and ten of us. So these are pretty simple. It so just has a Republic of Portuguese denomination in Chinese in the center and in Portuguese down below. And on the back of the coin, we have the coat of arms of Macau this time. So it's a combination of an actual, looks like a lion. So, so we got, so most of this is the coat of arms of uh, Portugal. This is the crested arms of Portugal. This represents Macau, and the water represents an overseas province. And we have Old Moon again, 1967. And the same with the five others. So these would probably cost about five dollars each. And yeah, it's pretty easy. Has the five others has a minty job uh, five million. So not really hard to get. And I would say that these probably were not really used in circulation. Had a small value. And this was the last year of issue of the five others. Then we had the ten others. Same type of design. Also nickel brass. So it's a 79% copper, 20% zinc. So that makes up the uh, brass and one percent nickel so really nickel is nothing in the actual coin and this one has a mint shaft 5.5 million then you got other dates 1968 75 76 i would say the key dates probably 1976 although 1975 does have two diameters 22 millimeters which is this and 23.5 so a little bit bigger so I hope this helps you with uh, Macau coins, because the last one we have is the one Pataka. And this one also has the coat of arms of Macau as at the time. And what we, so the first one Pataka was the silver, one issue 1952, which is 72% silver. And this is the first year of the nickel coin. The other dates are 1975, and this is a mintage of 5 million. And in this condition, probably about 5 bucks. So it looks actually quite nice. I like it. doesn't have any milling, which is a bit sad. But here's the Portuguese coat of arms. The date down below. And these ones would have circulated widely. They replaced the actual banknote. So... I hope this helps you with your collecting of Macau coins and banknotes. They're actually quite nice. I find Macau quite interesting. They do have a lot of foods. Like they have a pole tart, Portuguese tart, which is like a egg, egg tart in English. Oh, I know done tart, so egg tart is a translation. Uh, but it's sort of slightly caramelized on top. Beautiful. Uh, a lot better than done tart. Anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.